you did not watch NXT TakeOver Dallas, stop this video. Stop what you're doing right now. Go turn on your TV. Go put on your PC. Dial up WWE. Dial up WWE Network. And put on NXT TakeOver Dallas. And treat yourself to two and a half hours of epic wrestling action. You're going to see... Shinsake Nakamura take on Sami Zayn in a five-star classic. If you didn't enjoy that, you hate wrestling. Finn Balor defended NXT title against Fat, 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 Samoa Joe. And if you didn't like that match, you don't like wrestling. Because this show nailed it times two. I can't wait to talk about it. First things I want to talk about is the debut of Shinsake Nakamura. Or is... Or Shinsuke Nakamura. Or, or I'm going to call him Shitstain Nakamura. <laughs> ah, fuck your grandma's awesome. No, I know. It's just my nature to roast things. It's kind of what I do here on my show. But Shitstain Nakamura takes on Sammy Bain. And I've never actually seen Shinsuke Nakamura fight, you know, except for like an old YouTube video or something like that. Like, this was a live match. It was my first time witnessing his epicness in WWE. And let me tell you, even though he looks like a dude from a Michael Jackson video from 1986, this guy can kick some serious ass. You want to know when you're badass? That's when you break your nose during a match and you got blood running down your lips and you go and spit it at your opponent. When you spit your own blood at the bastard you're brawling with, that's how you know you're a badass. So, shit stay Nakamoron, you kicked ass. And Sami Zayn, he went all out as well. This dude is probably one of the best wrestlers in the world, and I just seriously want to see him ascend to the top of the WWE. He's gonna be one of the best. He could be like, kind of Daniel Bryan's replacement, I'm thinking. Like, he could be one of those guys that's like, WWE's just gonna hold him down because he's not like the biggest dude, but he's such a nice guy, a humble guy, and the guy can put on a show. People are gonna get behind him. No matter if he loses every match, people are gonna get behind him. And that's what happened here tonight. You didn't know who to root for. You're like, well, well, it is Shinsuke's debut here in the NXT WWE, but, but Sami Zayn, I mean, he's gonna lose going into an Intercontinental title match at WrestleMania? Who's gonna win here? False finish after false finish after false finish and then finally 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 Shinsuke wins the match but not only did he win the match but he won the respect and the admiration of the NXT audience he won over the WWE Universe welcome to NXT Shinsuke you are gonna kick ass I can't wait to see where you go dude and thumbs up to you too Sami Zayn because that was awesome now we got to talk about the championship match. We have Finn Balor, the NXT champion, who's held it since last July, right? I sort of thought that, you know, he's due. He's going to lose. All right. It is the second time he's fighting Samoa Joe, right? Out comes Samoa Joe. Fat, 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 fat. Here comes Samoa Joe. That's how his music goes, by the way. Fat, 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 fat. Okay. And then here comes Finn Balor. Where's his belt? He's winging around a chainsaw. Why the hell is Finn Balor winging around a chainsaw? Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This son of a bitch is obsessed with serial killers. Why? I don't know. I guess it makes him kind of uh, scary and stuff. Okay, so, and the first time ever, or that we've seen in WWE anyway, he's wearing a blue trim instead of a black trim. The outfit looks awesome. This prick is on point tonight. There they go, into the match. Not two seconds in, BAM! Headbutt by Balor, right to the fat face of Samoa Joe. Period face times 12. There's blood everywhere. It looks like a cringe carnival. And then, oh wait, here comes the referees. And they're like, oh, hold up, hold up, motherfuckers. We, we, we gotta wipe this blood off fat man's face. And people were pissed. Now, I kind of don't understand the controversy here. I mean, all right, the WWE is PG. Fuck Pinsley! Fuck Pinsley! That's what the audience was even chanting. Fuck Pinsley! Fuck Pinsley! But, but I, I mean, seeing a big fat guy with blood all over his face, is that, is that appealing to you? It's not really appealing to me, whether it's PG or not. And fuck PG. I mean, you know, fuck, fuck, piss, piss, shit, cock, pussy. You know, I'm not a fan of PG entertainment, but... A bloody face is not entertaining to me. Or, or uh, yeah, I want to see a bloody face. Yeah, I could give a fuck. I don't care. Wipe his ass off. But it ruins the flow of the match. I kind of thought that it brought some realism to the match. Like, oh my god, this guy's fucked up. We gotta check his face. We gotta make sure his eyes aren't falling out of his head. You know, it kind of added to the realism a bit for me. I didn't mind them wiping his face off at all. But so many some bitches out there were salty about it. I have to talk about it because I just couldn't believe how much 
people were pissed. And they did. They stopped the match two or three times to wipe down Joe's face. Even Joe was getting salty as a pretzel. He's like, leave me the fuck alone. The crowd is chanting, let him bleed. Let him bleed. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, Shinsuke got a bloody nose, you know? And he had blood running down his face. That was fine. Nobody stopped the match. But it wasn't like gushing. It wasn't like a severe injury. Joe could have had a severe injury over his eye. I defend the fact that they were checking. I'm fuck your glum. Unsubscribe. I know. I'm sorry. But... I didn't think it was that big a deal because the match was so good anyway. It didn't interfere with my enjoyment of the matchup at all. And then when Samoa Joe hit that big brutal muscle buster on Balor Boy, I seriously thought that was the end of the match. I said, oh no, I reckon that Balor Boy gonna get beat and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But no, he kicked out. I couldn't believe it. I was standing up like this. I'm like, oh, oh, this is happening? Is Balor actually gonna win this? And sure as fuck, bet your bottom dollar, bitch, Balor retains the title! What the fuck are they doing here? <laughs> maybe they're gonna bring up Samoa Joe to the main roster. Spoiler alert, maybe he's gonna be in the Andre the Giant Battle Royal, like I said in my predictions video. But Balor should be on the main roster. Balor should be main eventing WrestleMania, in my opinion. But okay, he's so awesome, we'll leave him in the NXT. He'll be the feature attraction of NXT. Epic match! Five stars! So now we got two five-star matches under our belts. That brings us to the NXT Women's Championship. Hey, we want some Bailey. You know, and all the chants and whatnot that go with Hugger Hooker Bailey. You know, those big flaily arm things. And she's going to fight Oscar. Uh, Asuka. Asuka. However, the, I think it's Asuka. Asuka. The very colorful chick from Japan comes out with a cool mask. She's wearing a red thong outside of her shorts. She's wearing these booty shorts with a red thong outside. Your undies go underneath. Maybe she didn't get the memo. Anyway, she goes up against Bailey. And again, here's another thing. I thought Bailey has held the NXT women's title for a while now, since August. I was there when she won it from Sasha Money in the Banks. So I'm thinking, okay, okay, Bailey Legal, you're finally about to lose the NXT title to Asuka. I thought it was over the showcase. Asuka's gonna win the belt. And she did! But people were pissed! What do you want, Bailey to hold the belt forever? No, let her come up to the main roster! Bailey's ready! Bailey is ready to be a WWE women's wrestler. We don't need Bailey rolling around in NXT for years and years and years. So Asuka takes the NXT Women's Championship by making Bailey pass out in her submission hold. And people were pissed! Why? <laughs> that was good. You, you, she didn't get pinned, and she didn't submit. That keeps her looking strong. Bailey, what a fighter. Yeah, she didn't tap out. She didn't get pinned. Bailey's the best. Where's the problem here? People should be pumped. Another five-star match. I thought it was epic. Oh, who's in the crowd? Bobby Roode. Who's sitting behind Bobby Roode? It looked like hipster Eva Marie. Looked just like Eva Marie with hipster glasses. Now, what the fuck is Bobby Roode doing there? A friggin' TNA reject? Another one? How? Rude. You didn't even do anything. You should have got in the match, motherfucker. You should have interfered. Sign a contract or stay your ass home. Let's talk about the tag team title matchup because we've got new tag team champions as the American Alpha, Jordan and Gable, beat Dash and Dickhole. Whatever the fuck their names are. Wilder and Dawson. Dash and Dickhole. I call them Dash and Dickhole because they're Dash and Dickholes is what they are. Another epic match. There was a big botch. <laughs> People chanting, you fucked up. People chanting, botchamania. Sometimes you shit the bed. The old Grimster shits the bed. Usually once a week. I make like 15, 20 videos a week. I'm gonna shit the bed at least once a week. Come on, you're fucked up, you son! Yeah, well, we all make mistakes. Okay, so they had a big botch, but that didn't take away from the match whatsoever. American Alpha takes the tag team titles, which is cool. They deserve it. They're totally like the best tag team ever. You know, the Kurt Angle's best tag team ever gimmick. Like, they're totally... Where's Kurt Angle? Why is Kurt Angle not with these guys? Let's see, I guess I'll give that match... Uh, four out of five stars because of the big botch. Otherwise, it would have been five fail. Stone Cold Steve Austin Aries goes up against Baron Corballs. And Baron Corballs is boring. 
He's got a cool look to him, but then he comes out for an entrance wearing this coat that looks like it's raccoon carcasses sewn together. What the fuck are you dressed up like some kind of jerk off for, Baron Corbals? He takes on Stone Cold Steve Austin Aries, and Stone Cold Steve Austin Aries stomps a mud hole in him and walks it dry. Not really. Actually, Baron Corbin beat the shit out of this little son of a bitch. I didn't realize how small Austin Aries is. This dude goes running to do a dive through the ropes like Daniel Bryan, like the Usos do. But no, he goes through the middle and bottom rope. I'm like, dude, only midgets do that. Oh, wait. <laughs> The dude's so little. I can't believe he actually beat Baron Corbin. Damn right, he beat Baron Corbin. I mean, sure, the little fruit beat him with a roll-up, but hey, he beat him. He beat the big man Baron Corbin. I would give that match like three out of five stars. It wasn't like amazing, but it wasn't bad. It was definitely a good match. I enjoyed it. And happy to see Baron Corbin lose, because fuck him. Also advertised for this show, we were supposed to see Elias Samson go up against Apollo Crews, but they did it as a dark match, and we got hosed on the network. We didn't even get to see it. I heard Elias Samson won. <laughs> really? The fucking jerk off in jeans? Remember when I roasted him for wearing the jeans and he got pissed? <laughs> go check that out in case you missed it. I thank you guys for watching my NXT Dallas review and reactions. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more, and let me know what you thought of the show in the comments below. Grim out! <laughs>